what's going on everybody Fritz here and uh, I've got a pretty cool tutorial today this is a star glow tutorial and uh, basically what it is or not star glow 3d stroke and star glow and what it is is basically these things just go around the sniper and it's really really cool and it's pretty easy to do it's not that hard but you can sort of just see what they are right now it's it's pretty nice I'm not gonna lie I'm a, I'm a fan of this effect um, let's learn how to do it so get rid of this black solid get out of here so first thing we're going to do is I've just twisted my clip here right on the reload. Nothing special because that, that's where I'm going to use it. Uh, put put your cursor thingy down here right to where you want it to start. Right click or uh, go to new and then hit solid and then just make sure it's black. Um, then you're going to go see in this mode thing. Uh, you're gonna want, you might have to toggle switches down here so you can see here we've got all these buttons and knobs. Uh, hit that to go where the mode is and then change it to add so that way it's see-through. So now what you're going to want to do is uh, zoom in on your sniper, and you can use this hand tool up here. Then hit G on your keyboard, pen tool, and uh, just do an outline of the sniper. So I'm doing an ugly job on this, but whatever. It um, doesn't really matter because this isn't going in any special edit. So I've done all that already right now. Now I'm going to kind of imagine the scope is all out here, so just kind of you know do all the way around like that. Um, so you kind of make the scope continue on whatever yolo 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 so down here you're gonna want to make like a pretty decent sized like um like rectangle i guess like i'm gonna click all the way down here all the way over here and then back up so that way there's like a lot of room for air and i'll show you what i mean so um that way uh yeah i don't know how to describe it but you do it like that so you have like so a lot of room off of the main picture so now what you're going to do is you're gonna to go to your effects and presets tab and search up 3d stroke drag it onto your uh, black solid and already we've got this uh, thing here and uh, it looks pretty cool you can adjust it too if you just click on the points you can sort of move them around and adjust them accordingly to your sniper um, so there we go like that looks even a little better already right there so uh, that that's nice, but we're we're real men. We're gonna make it look even cooler. So if you don't have star glow for whatever reason, um, just normal glow works. And if we put that on our clip, you see, kind of makes it like a tingy glow. And you can sort of change the color to make it a little bit yellower, um, like th like this. It's still okay. And I don't know, it kind of adds like a little bit of an effect onto it. But it's not as nice as Star Glow. Star Glow is really cool. So we're going to go click on that right now. So uh, search up Star Glow. And this is a third party thing. It doesn't come with After Effects, it's a trap code effect. Put that on your thing. And you can see already we've got some birthday party stuff going on. Um, we're just going to bring the uh, streak length down to about four, not just a little bit less. Um, okay, so now we're going to do some stuff with the 3D stroke. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, check loop down here. And now you're going to go to f uh, the start, change it to 75 issues. I, I find that a good length. Um, but if you do want to live, you know, on the, on the edge, you know, 85 might work. I'll, I'll meet you halfway and do 80 for this video. And um, now you're going to change this offset amount so that the uh, you can see it, the path it's taking. You just change it. And um, there we go. So see how it's like off the map or off the screen. And if I continue offset, it comes back on the other side. So we're going to make it so it's all off the screen right now. So it's right here. And we're going to hit keyframe. Now we're going to go over to a little bit farther in the Twixter, and it is moving, and the mask isn't perfect, but you won't notice it. Trust me, you will not. You will barely, barely notice it. So um, then we're going to change the offsets, and we're going to go around two times. So that was one time, and that was two times, and we're going to make it so it goes all the way off down in our little uh, air zone down here. Hit you on your keyboard. You can see your two keyframes, and that's pretty much it. You've done everything. Um, we can do a RAM preview just to be sure that it all looks nice and sexy. So, um, there we go, and then it, it's going to come up. There it goes, and oh my god, Fritz, another great tutorial. So you should hit subscribe at the top of the video if you're going to use its effects, because I think it's pretty cool. I'm him, I'm him. So there it is, there's the effect, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, Fritz here, and I'm out. Peace. Hit subscribe and like the video. Damn it.